All right, let's take a look at ETL versus ELT. So ETL and ETL is used when you want to move data from one location to another where the data store database have a different data structure. So you need to transform the data for the target system. A common use case would be MSSQL to Cosmo DB. So this one is relational. This one's no SQL. They just don't have the same data structures. You'd have to do some kind of transformation. And so here we have our visuals for ETL and ELT. So let's talk about ETL first, which stands for extract, transform, and load. So it loads the data first into a staging server and then into a target system. So even though it's not shown here, we actually have an intermediate virtual machine or server that's being loaded temporarily into doing the transformations. And then when it's done, it's going to output it into its target system. Uh, used for on-premise relational and structured data. So it's very common for on-prem, like this could be a migration strategy. So they could be taking an SQL database and just moving it to um, a, an SQL database on uh, Azure, right? And so there might be, uh, like they're the same type of database, but there could be different versions of databases. So the, the feature set's slightly different, so they do some transformations. It's uh, good for a small amount of data. To be fair, ETL can be used for larger workloads, but you know when we're comparing from ELTs, it's generally smaller. Doesn't provide data lake support. Uh, easy to implement, uh, mostly supports relational databases, okay? When we talk about extract load transform, loads directly into the target system, uh, used for scalable cloud structures and unstructured data sources, used for large amounts of data, provides data lake support, requires specialized skills to implement and maintain, supports for unstructured data readily available. So you're going to see that e ELT is going to be the more common use case when we're dealing with cloud. Um, but it does require a little bit more knowledge where this one is just like, if you know SQL, you're gonna be in good shape, okay? So there you go.